out posters and my whole room was filled with posters. Big Daddy Kane, Dominique Wilkins, things like that, man. I, I grew up in a great neighborhood, like 50 kids playing basketball outside, tackle on the tackle on the, on the grass, you know, football in the middle of the street. Mm -hmm. And um, my pops just didn't play, man. You know what I mean? He used to, he used to beat me down like if I was if I was wrong, you know, when I was younger and coming up. Everybody in the neighborhood had respect for him, dope dealers, hoopers, everybody, you know what I mean? And I get to eighth grade, ninth grade, I want to go play at this high school, Southwest, coldest killers ever, went to Southwest, the Anderson Hunt, all these other players. So this is the high school I want to go to. Like, they ain't won the championship at seven, you know, they had tried seven times, they won the championship. Everybody else had been winning, you know, we wanted Detroit to win. Take us back to your upbringing, Detroit, the city, your childhood, and then going from where you grew up and played to a school like Country Day. So I grew up in Detroit. You know, my father, he's, he's the smartest man I know. He's the man. Um, but you know, he really grew up in the South. He really grew up on a plantation. He really grew up picking cotton, you know what I mean? And uh, he had a tough life and he, came to Detroit to work in the auto factory. The whole time, you know, looking back, it, it was a wonderful time, a lonely time, but it was like, okay, I, I realized at that point what it meant to go to work in, in the dark. It's like, shut up, let them say what they're gonna say. No, that shit don't mean nothing. You know, what you gonna do once you, you know, had that confrontation. So um, at that time, I go to this little high school and my pops, you know, he had a real good talk with me. So the first year I tried to flunk out. That was really like my high school, man. Like just, it was, I wanted to go to this one high school and play there. I go to this other school, I gotta wear a suit and a tie. Mm. I don't understand why my father is listening to this woman about sports. You know what I'm saying? This is my mom, she don't even like sports. Mm. Why would you listen to her about what school to go to? And I thank him every day, man, because my pops, he wasn't my friend. You know what I mean? I ain't talked to him right. that year, like a whole year. I ain't talked a whole school year. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't talk to him. He'd be in the car like... <laughs> <laughs> so it was just a good lesson, man. But, it, you know, making it shorter than it, than it was. But it was... High school was the best and the worst thing at the same time for me. That's right down the level. He turns. Look up behind the back! It's a stick of the foul! What a play by Weber! At six foot ten, Chris Webber was a triple threat as a scorer, passer, and for his ability to run the floor, setting a new standard for power forwards in the NBA. Chris is a big guy, but he still had tremendous versatility. He could defend, he could block shots, he could rebound. He was very unselfish. From his early days in youth league ball, Webber showed he was way ahead of the competition. This guy came in with the ability and the skill to go coast to coast and dunk the basketball at 13 years of age. At that moment, I knew that he was gonna be a special player. After starring at Detroit Country Day at high school, he would go on to the University of Michigan. As a member of the famed Fab Five, he helped lead the Wolverines to two national championship games while becoming a cultural icon for both his style and dominance on the court. He played with the love, passion for the game of basketball, and it showed on the floor. As the first overall pick in the 1993 draft, Weber would go on to win Rookie of the Year. Later, as a member of the Sacramento Kings, he was the centerpiece of a budding Western Conference power. Chris was our all-star, the key player, that everything was around him. He helped everybody on the floor become better players, and he was a glue and keep that team together. A five-time NBA All-Star, Weber averaged more than 20 points per game for nine consecutive seasons and earned the league rebounding title in 1999. He was the spark that lit the imagination of so many other players coming up in the NBA. I credit Chris for changing that power forward position. 